What's up guys, it's Andrew with iTech Triad and for the longest time, laptops have been constantly surprising us with new technology that comes in. But how many times has it been that you wanted to get a beefy computer with pretty good specs, but you had to sacrifice something? Well, the point of the new Lenovo's new laptop, the Lavi Z, I wanna say it's pronounced, is that you don't have to sacrifice weight for beefiness and spec wise. The whole point of this laptop is it's got a solid state drive and it's also extremely light, almost so light that I was scared the first time I picked it up because I thought it was made out of paper. I'm really not lying. It's, it's really, really light and I love picking it up and showing it to people because it's just that surprising. This laptop literally weighs only 1.87 pounds, which is extremely light but it's also extremely fast the first time i booted it up it took about three seconds to completely log in and boot up all the way and I, I when i first picked it up and turned it on i was really surprised now when it comes to performance this thing is really fast i don't seem to find any lag problems with it there's nothing wrong with it it's a really good laptop and i would recommend it to a lot of people the one thing i really didn't like on this laptop was the fact that the keyboard was so small that it was really hard to type the whole time I was using it. I don't like the thin keys that don't give a lot of feedback because then it's really hard to type anything. And I like thicker keys, like on my, my desktop I have really thick keys that I like using. But for, for a laptop I also want a little bit thicker keys, otherwise I feel like I'm, I'm touching paper or even typing on a, a tablet, which I don't even like because I don't get any feedback, and it's really hard to write anything. But other than that, the, the battery life as well is outstanding, I mean, it's lasted a long time. Um, I had it sleeping for about, I want to say about five days, and I don't think it, it ever even died, but that's just sleeping. Uh, full use, I got about... Um, two days out of use. Um, like you said, it's extremely thin too. The battery is uh, pretty small, but the laptop's really thin, really light, so I'm surprised I can get a lot of, a lot of usage, out, usage out of it. Also, like I said, the, the computer is extremely fast because it does have a solid state drive, which is really, really good and extremely fast for whether you want to do word processing or browsing the web. I'm not entirely sure if you can do gaming. I didn't really test that on here but I'm pretty sure you could probably get away with a couple good PC games if you really wanted to, but I wouldn't suggest this for gaming, I would suggest this more for office use or everyday use if you're a student or along those lines. Another thing I do want to talk about with the Lobby Z is the hardware. Now, it is made out of plastic on the outside, of course it wouldn't be able to be this light if it was made out of pure metal, or maybe it could be, I'm not entirely sure, but it is plastic so it does feel a little not, not as durable as I'd like it to be, but um, it's definitely something that could last a long time if you took care of it. And it's, it's definitely worth it because of how fast it is and the price point. And when it comes to speakers, they, they honestly weren't that great. I didn't, didn't like using them too much. Of course, I would just stick my headphones in or use some other means instead of playing music straight through the laptop. Um, but, but they were all right. They didn't have too much quality to them. I mean, they were crisp, but I didn't have a lot of bass. So my final thoughts on it, I would suggest it to a few people depending on what you're looking for in a laptop. Do you want speed? Do you want quality? Do you want uh, lightness? Then this is the laptop for you. But if you're looking for something else, something a little less expensive, you don't mind carrying you know, a heavier laptop around, then I would urge you to look at other places. Remember to leave a like, comment, subscribe, whatever you want to do at the bottom that would really help us out. And we'll see you next time on iTech Triad.